Hello there, Cardinals. It's me, Mr. Ernst, and today we are going to be talking about how to find a slope from a graph, okay? So before we get to that, before we find what slope is, we have to know what slope is. So in this little graph over here, I have two different lines. I have a green line going up here, and I have a purple line going up over here. Both of these lines are going up, and they both start from the same point. They're both starting at zero. However, these lines are not the same. The green line is going up much faster than the purple line, and that's because the green line has a bigger slope. Because slope is how a line changes. So how fast a line changes is what slope is. So this one, for example, the, uh, the green one over here has a bigger slope. It has a slope of 3 over 1. And the purple line has a much smaller slope of, I think it's 1 over 2. Yeah, I had to double check that real quick. So this one simply has a larger slope. And so it is changing a lot faster. Okay? So we're looking at how fast something changes. Let's take a look at an example here. Bop. Number one, the first one we're going to be looking at. Again, to find this, a slope is always going to be a ratio. One number over another number. Sometimes it's simplified, but it is always going to be a ratio. The, nu uh, the numerator is always going to be the change in y. And the denominator is always going to be the change in x. So what we're looking at is we want to know how much is the y value changing and how much is the x value changing. Okay? So let's start off with our change in y. We're going to look from this point here to this point here. And I want to know, here's my y-axis right here. I want to know how much did it have to change? How much did it go up by? We went up by 1 and then went up by two. So this went up or added two. It's an ugly looking two, hold on one more time. Boom, plus two. So this went up by two, cool? My change in x, starting from this same point, now I'm gonna be measuring my horizontal. Here's my x axis. So I'm gonna be measuring how far over did it go? One. It only went over one this time to reach this where this dot is here. So we have plus 2 for the vertical, and then plus 1 for the horizontal. Now we just have to organize these together. My change in y was plus 2 over my change in x, which was plus 1. And that is my slope. 2 over 1. Let's take a look at a number, another example. If you need to go back and rewatch this video, please do, or pause the video, please do. I'm kind of just going to keep moving through these. Again, we are looking for our change in y over the change in x. Cool? Once again, we will start off by finding our change in y. I'm going to grab this point here and this point here. And again, I'm looking on my y value. How much did this go up? One, two, three. So this went up by three. For my orange value, once again, starting from here, or if I want to, I can actually come up here too if I'd like. One, two. So that changed by two. Again, we're looking at how much did it change vertically and horizontally. And then those are combined into my ratio. So my change in y was 3 over my change in uh, my x change was 2. So 2. So my final slope is 3 over 2. Next example. Again, we are still looking for our change in y over my change in x. I'm saying that over and over again because I really want you guys to remember that it is the change in y over the change in x. Cool? So this one is a little bit different. I could sit here and count these two out by going up and over. 
counting those out to basically see that, oh, it looks like it's going to be 1 over 3. But we're going to do this a little bit differently. This time we've been given two points, 3 over 1, or 3, 1, and 0, 0. So we can actually find our slope when we've been given two points. 0, comma, 0 is my first one, and 3, comma, 1 is my second point. I want you to remember that when you have a coordinate pair like this, they are always written in the format of x comes first and then y. So these are always going to be written this way, which means the 3 and the 0 are my x values, and this 1 and this 0 are my y values. So here, instead of actually counting on the graph, I can just count out the actual numbers. So for example, how much did my y value change? It went from 0 to 1. Well, this changed by adding 1. 0 plus 1 gives me 1. How much did my x values change by? It went from 0 up to a 3. Well, this changed by adding 3. So now I just have to put these back together in my ratio change in y, which was plus 1, over my change in x, which was plus 3, and there's my slope, 1 over 3. One more example of that before we leave. Boop. All right, once again, as always, we are looking for our change in y over my change in x. I have two points here. I'm going to write both of them down just like last time. I start at 4, 5, this point here, and I go to 8, 10. 8, 10. Once again, my x values are going to be the ones on the left, so that's going to be my 8 and my 4. And my y values are going to be the ones on the right, so that's my 10 and my 5. So I'm going to look at how much did my y value change by from 5 to 10. How much did it add or subtract? It grew by 5. 5 plus 5 gives me 10. And how much did my x value change by? We went from 4 up to 8. So it grew by 4. We added 4. Now I just put them into my ratio. Change in y was plus 5 over my change in x, which was plus, oops, keep my colors here, plus 4. And that is my slope, 5 over 4. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Rewatch this video, pause it, do whatever you need to. Um, yeah, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.